Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having a great day. It is Saturday here and Greg um, had to close today, which means that he has to be at work at three and um, he's off tomorrow. So we had talked about going to the Four Sisters book. Y'all wanted to see the puppies, all the noisemakers. These puppies are going to be the death of me. Maggie Sue, no, Maggie Sue, I can't even keep their names straight. Oh my God. Maggie Lou, she is feisty and she is growing, getting big. See, look, there you go. That was your look. She has got to get down. Come here, Ruby. And here is Ruby Sue. She is just such a mess. Needing her first haircut. We've got to get that scheduled. Um, but they are just little like two-year-olds and always have to be running around playing and play fighting. And Ruby, my beautiful, sweet Ruby, is such a bully, y'all. She drags Maggie around by her little dumbo looking ears. And like I said in one of my videos, I just feel like I'm in an understaffed toddler room. And I will definitely say that taking on two puppies was a bit of a stretch. I have bit off a little bit more than I can chew. But anyway, like I was saying, we um, were, had talked about going down to Four Sisters tomorrow um, because they're having their spring open house. So a lot of the booths, only two of the things we bought weren't on sale. Most, all the other booths were, um, some were 10, 20, and up to 30% off. So we ran down there and y'all were prior to Greg getting into all this thrifting and stuff. If he closed, that pretty much meant that he didn't do anything prior to going to work. But it was his idea to get up and go down there this morning. He has been looking for some vintage spring, and we're finding that it's a little bit harder to find than, you know, um, definitely the vintage Christmas or even the vintage Halloween. But he did pick this up. I don't know if he remembered this from when he was a kid or not, but it's a, a rabbit. Looks like he's got on maybe like a little cowboy vest or something, pulling a wagon. So, oh yeah, he's got a little cowboy hat. Greg thought this was really cute. So I'm gonna fill it up with maybe some grass and some eggs or something and put it in the front living room, which is where we are housing most of the yellow spring things now we saw a few well i mean there wasn't a lot of vintage spring at all um but uh some of the rabbits that we did saw see they were like look they were scary like they were even more scary to me than some of the santas i just wasn't interested in getting any of those but um it's something that we'll definitely you know throughout the year maybe be on the lookout for now, I did grab two vintage um, Easter postcards. This one was post date 1910. So, it's sweet. Pretty vibrant little colors. And then this one, um, there's not a postage date on it, but there is a stamp. And I can't make it out, but that one's pretty. So, they had a booth that had several more, but they didn't have stamps or they weren't written on and um, they were like eleven fifty a piece. And so I didn't want to, you know, get anything that didn't have like a date or an actual, um, you know, documentation of how old they were on it. Let's see, they wrap up things so good. I don't even remember. Oh, so. If you watch the old so-and-so, she had gone down, I don't know, maybe one day this week, her video went up this week, and she picked up some of these. Um, I did not know that there was, that these things existed, but y'all know that I like George Washington and the presidential stuff. So, um, Greg found these and said, hey, isn't this what the old so-and-so got? And they're just old, um, let me see if I can take one out. They're old spice containers, um, the Martha Washington, I guess Forbes brand. 
I was excited because when I saw that she had put this in her video, I was like, oh man, what a find. Um, but then I was excited to see there was a whole nother stack there. So there are five of them. That was red pepper. This is a mixed pickling. No, stop. Lucy is coming in and she's gonna knock my tripod over. Cayenne pepper. Cloves. And then an allspice. Now, y'all know that I'm kind of weird about my colors and I don't have red out right now, so I will pack these away and I will pull these out for summer. If I do the strawberries again this year, which, you know, I don't see why I wouldn't. I plan on doing strawberries. Those will look cute with the strawberries in the kitchen. They'll look great for the 4th of July um, and all the way up through, um, you know, for Memorial Day to Labor Day. So those will be styled sometime this summer. And then I got this, and y'all, I didn't have any big fun. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but it is a chunky butter pat. It is not marked at all. It is probably, um, I'm going to assume, like restaurant wear. But it was this. So there were two things that I bought that the vendor didn't, wasn't participating in the kind of store wide. Um, uh, sale that they were having for their spring open house. But I did pay, I'm just going to tell you, I paid $14 for this teeny tiny little butter pat. But I love, love butter pats. And to find chunky butter pats, like it's really hard. I've only found in the past year chunky butter pats two other times. So I did grab this. And then this was the other thing that wasn't on sale. Now, I have been looking for some of these, and I did, I had found one in the Flow Blue, but it was, this one is um, not marked as well. But without saying that, I thought, I love the agent on this, but it is a little teacup, one um, without a handle. And it has lots of, you know, staining, um, just grazing and I have been wanting one of these. So I paid 14 for this as well. And again, this was um, the two items that were not on any kind of sale, but Greg encouraged me to get them. He was like, butter pads are hard to find and you've been wanting um, one of the teacups that doesn't have a handle. Now I meant to look up some of this and some of you may know, so you can correct me, but I had done some research a while back when I got my Flow Blue teacup Sometimes it says that they're different things, like they don't call them teacups, and I don't remember what it was because I didn't want to go with that. I like the what I found that said, you know, some of the, the really early, early um, teacups didn't actually have handles, and so that would make sense. It would keep your hands warm. You know, I don't know what the reasoning behind it, and I don't know how accurate that is, but if you know this history behind teacups without handles, let me know. And if you know, well, no, the other site was right. It, it, like, I, I think it's, I've heard that it's like a, a dipping bowl or something like that. Fill me in. Help me find out the history on those. Then I found this little bowl, and it's a Homer Laughlin. So, um, you know, American Ironstone. It is, uh, you know, has Homer Laughlin stamped on it. And it's just a sweet little bowl. It has the scalloped edges that I like so much, and it has lots of aging. So it was $6, but on sale, it was 20% off. So um, that'll go cute and uh, stacked in one of my cabinets. Then I got this. This is one of those pieces that it's stamped into the plate, um, and it's really hard to read, but it looks just like the wheat pattern of ironstone that I've been finding. I have the teapot and the pitcher. So it was only $4. And I went, I grabbed it because I loved the aging on it and it looks so much like it goes with that pattern. And then I have this one other thing. This is a small haul, but I did not want um, it to pile up because sometimes I let them pile up and you know, then it gets overwhelming. Now this is a Royal 
Crownford Ironstone, um, Weatherby Manly, England, Royal Falconware, and it does say wheat, and it does go with the teapot and the pitcher that um, I was able to thrift. And there's our mark. And I don't remember, it was on sale, it, was, it may have been $14, but it was like a, I don't remember, I just know it was on sale. So, that is my cute, quick little haul from Four Sisters. And y'all, it's the little things for me. I told y'all, green is in for the spring. And look, they switched their bags. They've got that cute little stamp. So they have green little bags. If you go down there, um, I'm probably gonna keep mine. They'd be great just to use to, you know, carry stuff back and forth to work. But anyway, if you are from around here, if you're a local, run over to Four Sisters this weekend. They are open tomorrow as well. And they are having drawings for $100 gift cards. So Greg and I both registered, fingers crossed, because you know there's something I want. Like I've already spent that gift card in hopes that I get it. But you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And until I see you again, happy thrifting.